Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Redwan Kasimi, a mechanical engineering professor at the University of South Florida in Tampa, Florida. Uh, in this course here, we're going to talk about robot kinematics, uh, which includes kinematics, uh, forward kinematics, inverse kinematics, uh, Jacobian, and so forth. Uh, the textbook we're going to be using is Introduction to Robotics, Mechanics and Control. Uh, we're going to use the fourth edition. Earlier editions would still work, but you know the homework problems might be a little different and there might be some, uh, some difference also in programming. Uh, this is uh, uh, authored by John Craig, uh, and we're going to be using this textbook for the most part um, uh, in the, throughout the whole course, but there are also some other segments of the course that would not be uh, covered in this book. So uh, I always advise you to look at the uh, videos and make sure that all the topics that you need um, are taken from the video and then use the textbook for reference uh, if needed. I'd like you to talk about a few important things that I want you to know or prepare ahead of time before you start this course. Uh, we already talked about the textbook Introduction to Robotics, Mechanics and Control, 4th edition by Jean Craig. Um, and the ISBN number is shown here. You can find it in Amazon or any other bookstore of your choice. Uh, programming, uh, we're going to be using MATLAB release 2020A. Uh, this is the version that I, I've used here for uh, this course, throughout the course. Uh, and we'll also be using Robotics Toolbox release 10.4. Uh, this toolbox is designed by Peter Cork, uh, and you can go to his website uh, and download it for free. Once you download it, you can install it or add the toolbox to MATLAB toolboxes. Now, some of the commands might be different between these releases and other releases uh, earlier or later, uh, but it's also always good to look at the uh, syntax of any um, commands or uh, programming uh, functions uh, to make sure that it's consistent and compatible with any version different than these. Uh, so we're going to be using this for simulation and, and programming uh, throughout this course. Uh, it's always a good idea to get it together uh, install it, get familiar with it before you start the course and, and its contents. Uh, the goals of this course is to understand the science and engineering of mechanical manipulation uh, from the perspective of kinematics. Uh, We're not going to be talking about dynamics. Uh, all, the whole course is talking about kinematics, but we will talk slightly about uh, velocities and forces as well in Chapter 5. Uh, the needed background for this course includes basic statics and dynamics, just the basics, a linear algebra that includes uh, matrices, multiplying matrices, inverting matrices, and so forth, and some higher level programming, which might include just you know knowing the uh, flow charts of how to make programs and how to make loops and so forth. Uh, we'll also be using MATLAB. Um, students will be using that for homework and project. Uh, so make sure that you're familiar with MATLAB as well. Uh, if you have some introductory course uh, in controls, that would be an added bonus, but it's not really necessary. Now, for the first chapter, we're going to have some background. And at the same time, I'm going to brush up on uh, some of these information that you might have forgotten, uh, including linear, linear algebra. Um, matrix operations, multiplications, inversions, and so forth. Uh, I'm going to be also talking a little bit about uh, trigonometric functions that we're going to be using for this course. So if you're not really familiar with this, these backgrounds, we're going to you know, talk about it briefly uh, in Chapter 1 as a review. Uh, the topics that will be covered in this course include, after the introduction, include spatial descriptions and transformations, uh, manipulator kinematics, which would be forward kinematics, and then inverse kinematics, uh, and that would be the opposite of the forward kinematics. And then we're going to talk about Jacobian, that includes velocities and static forces. And then finally, we're going to talk about trajectory generation, uh, which is actually needed. So, so I will jump uh, into trajectory generation before covering Jacobian, because we need these for a simulation before we talk about Jacobian. So I'll do the trajectory generation first and then go back to the Jacobian uh, velocities and static forces. Uh, throughout the whole course, we're going to be talking about programming and simulation. Uh, each chapter will have um, some segment of programming uh, so that we can cover 
any relevant information about programming for uh, the particular chapter we're talking about.